Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. My name is Azmir and today I'm going to show you 10 different ways you can use the Eleco Open Deadlift Bar. First of all, before I start, I'd just like to wish all my Muslim viewers Eid Mubarak. Hope it's not too late. Anyway, I did a review of the Open Deadlift Bar many, many months ago and it was the first few reviews that I did. Um, and I was still inexperienced and I didn't explain a lot of how you can use the Open Deadlift Bar. So I actually went uh, on YouTube and tried to search for ways to use the open concept hex bar like this. Uh, to see what sort of uh, exercises that you can do with um, the open deadlift bar. In this particular video, I'm going to show you 10 different types of workouts that you can do with this particular bar. Before we get into that, let's recap on how easy it is to actually load this bar as compared to the normal enclosed hex bar. I have here a pair of Eleco Technique plates, 2.5 kg. So the, the size of this plate is um, similar to the Olympic place, which is 45 mm in uh, diameter. So you get to see how, how easy it is to actually load uh, plates onto this bar. Now, obviously you have to stand the open deadlift bar up like this, so that it actually acts like a jack and you can just easily load the plates in. And for in the previous, um, in, in a normal hex bar, you would probably have to lift the hex bar up before you load the plates in. So that's how easy it is to load uh, the open deadlift bar. And obviously once you want to use it, you can just push it down like this and roll it to position. Okay. Number one, the deadlift. Now some might call it a squat, some call it deadlift. I'm not going to get into the argument. You decide for yourself what the movement actually is. So here we go. Number two, lunges. With lunges, it's best that the closed loop here, I mean the closed part here is pointed towards the back like like so what you can do is just I don't have a lot of space here but you know you can just do your lunges <sighs> you have to forgive my form because uh, I really do lunges but you get the picture you can do either static lunges uh, or you can do walking lunges with this bar number three bent over rows. Now with bent over rows, I like to position it like this with the uh, enclosed part, sorry, with, the, with this part in front of me. And uh, this is how I would do it. I particularly like the fact that it's neutral grip, right? So um, it's, it makes it easy. Um, I get a full range of motion when I do the bent rows. Number four, farmer's walk or farm, farmer's carry. Uh, I should have given more thought on the sequence of the different types of exercise. Again, with uh, if you are, if any time when you are walking with the open deadlift bar, I believe that it's best that you keep the front portion uh, free. That means the, this, this part here is uh, towards your back. I don't have the space to carry this, but I think you get the picture. You just lift it up and start carrying. <laughs> Number five, you can do hex bar jumps. Um, pardon if I don't jump all the way. Once again, 
I might not be setting good example on how to do these exercises properly, but I hope you get the idea. Please speak with your coaches and trainers on how to do it properly. Number six onwards, um, you have to get a little bit more creative. So I've seen this done uh, at one of the YouTube channels and uh, it's cambered squat. Uh, I don't recommend that it's, it be used as a cambered squat. As you can see, um, this, the, the sleeve is actually quite, quite thick and uh, depending on your J-cup, the Elico J-cup is quite narrow. Um, so it's not particularly safe, but I'm just gonna show you that it can be done. Okay, so this J cup is probably set too high, but because it's so light. I wouldn't recommend that, but as you can see, it can be done. Number seven, you can do overhead press. I suppose you can do it in any, uh, whether or not this, this part right here is at the front or at the back, doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, but uh, I'll have it at my back. The grip is slightly wide. It's still, it feels like it's balanced, so. Whether or not you want to incorporate that in your routine, it's up to you. Again, uh, if it's not safe for you, don't do it, but I'm just showing that it can be done. Number eight, bench press. As you can see, it's not eating my, my face, so probably it's better to um, angle it the other way like that. You get really good range of motion with this. Number nine is a bit more insane. Um, I've seen it done on YouTube, but unless you are super strong, you can use this bar, I suppose, but they use it for tricep extension. I suppose, I'd rather do it sitting down than lying down. I don't think this is good because the grip is too wide. If the grip was a little bit more narrow, you could probably get better results. And I feel that it's, that particular one is a bit dangerous. So please don't do it. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. All right, and the last one is the Bulgarian split squat. Okay, folks, I just have to remind you that do not follow my examples in this video. Um, my form and technique is nowhere near good. So please consult your uh, trainer, your coach on how to do this movements uh, properly and safely. Okay, split squat. You get the picture. <sighs> okay, <sighs> there you go folks. That's 10 different ways you can use the Elico Open Deep Lift Bar. Like I mentioned, please do consult your trainer and coach on how to use this properly. I don't want you to get injured because of my CD video, but I think there are I believe there are more ways for you to use this open the lift bar. It is a versatile bar. It is well designed. It's very well balanced. Um, it's easy to use as compared to the tra traditional hex bar. If you know of other ways of uh, using this bar, um, please let, let me know. And if you have a specific question regarding the open the lift bar, uh, leave your questions in the comment section or you can email me directly. My email address is in the description. Now, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate it that if you subscribe to it and do not forget to turn on the notification button uh, so that you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. 
And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching again, uh, and I'll see you in the next Zilfit TV episode. Bye.